What's up, everybody? We're at Ohio Power Tool for their spring 2024 open house event, and we are in the Milwaukee Tool booth. We're gonna take a look at a whole bunch of new Milwaukee tools, and we have the foremost expert in submersible pumps on the MX Fuel line. His name's Ricardo, and you're gonna meet him right after this message from our sponsor, DCG Construction. Wanna help out with the channel? Head on over to Merch Store. You get hats, hoodies, T-shirts. Link will be in the description below. Welcome back, everybody. And this is Ricardo. It's gonna take a few minutes to go over. We got a, like a little demo demonstration here. Submersible yep. pump. I gotta tell you, the size of this submersible pump and the battery pack and the, I don't think you have enough water, maybe not in the <laughs> entire state, to do the proper demo. What do we got? Yeah, yeah, we have our uh, one horsepower, two inch submersible pump. So this is new, it's coming out a little bit later this year. A um, Couple of cool things about it, a uh, couple of quick specs, I guess. Uh, one thing is on a lot of competitor units, you usually have to tether this off. We actually designed ours where the cord is the tether. So you don't need a separate tether. You could just hang this thing right by that cord. Yep, exactly. Uh, that's awesome. So we've done that. A um, Couple of cool features with it. Does come with a little bit of a remote, so with the remote, what that allows you to do is actually set it and forget it. Okay. With the remote, you have your on off, a couple of different modes that it'll show you what you're in. You have your low mode uh, or turtle mode, which will be um, right around four hours of runtime, about 5,000 gallons uh, of water removed. High mode's gonna give you about 2,000 gallons and about uh, two hours of runtime. And then you have your auto mode. Cool thing with auto mode is that on our unit, it'll actually automatically shut off once it gets to about an inch of water. So there's like a float built in there somewhere. Yep, yeah, like a little sensor that'll pretty much as soon as it gets to about an inch. Um, yeah, gotcha. and, and it runs dry, it'll auto shut off for you. If you are on high or low, it'll notify the user. So if you're not around the pump or watching it, it'll notify you, hey, you got to shut it off or oh, you really? got to move it. So how does it know? If, so this this unit itself will, will buzz or beep or, yep. or, is it, or is it sending you like a text message or something? Uh, yeah, so this one uh, will start buzzing on you. Wow, okay. Yep. And one more question. When you're running it in turtle, yes. do you have turtle power? Like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> something like that. Something like that, all right, that's what's up. Oh so, yeah, I'll, I'll throw it on for you guys. It does come with the power box. Uh, typically it'll come with a six amp hour battery. So, so. so what we would have is the submersible pump. Yep. It's a single horse, one horse, is yep. that what we said? And then if you're gonna buy it, it comes as a kit. So you'd get the, the power supply or the backpack? Correct, yep. Okay, it comes kitted with a 12 amp? Uh, it comes kitted with a six though. Six, yep. did you already say it? I'm sorry if I didn't yep. hear it. Um, <laughs> I think at no time it would be better to see this thing in operation. It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. You seeing this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on over there, Joe. Run. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Yep. Yeah, it's a, a pretty quick demo. Wow. <laughs> You're too late. We're already empty. So wait, keep watching. Is it on auto or is it on float? With, uh, like, uh... Oh, I believe it starts off in high. So typically when it gets to auto, it'll shut off at about one inch. Yeah. It'll kick back on uh, periodically just to check if there's any water yeah, so that yeah. it can continue pumping. Wow, that's crazy. It's a lot of water. <laughs> what else do you have for us, Ricardo? Anything in the MX line? Yeah, uh, this is our, our newest one here. Um, we got our, our rammer here as well, plate compactor, and just a couple other Well, we want to hear all about it, but before we get to any of that, kit price, what are we, what are we talking here? Uh, right now, I believe they're still going over pricing. Okay, so yep. it's not finalized yet. Wow, we got like, what kind of new info? All right, Ricardo, <laughs> let's let's move on to whatever you want to show us next. Yeah, we can show. Um, I guess another one that's not out just yet is the our 70 kg rammer here. So this guy can't demo it here. We'll end yeah. up messing up some of the concrete, but um, this guy is a pretty much a, a gas replacement. Yeah. So you're gonna get about 25 minutes of runtime on one uh, on the 12o that it comes with it's gonna get you a little bit over a quarter mile of linear feet as well. That's great. The other thing, I actually did demo this at World of Concrete. Okay. And the isolation was really great. So I, I didn't feel like all of that 
compaction was being <laughs> set into my forearms and my joints. It, it was really comfortable to run. The other thing was, it's funny, we did a video where, and we titled, it was a short. Um, part of the demo was the, the, what's it called, the jacker? Is this called? Uh, the rammer. Rammer. Yep. The rammer got knocked over and it shuts down. Yes. So somebody actually commented, what a misleading title. It didn't, it didn't uh, fall over, it was pushed over. <laughs> I'm like, okay, bro, like, what's the difference? You know, yep. the, the end result is the same. Whether it's pushed over or falls over, the end result is that it will turn itself off, which is a great safety feature. Exactly, yep. Yeah, and that was something that, you know, with gas units, as soon as it knocks over, um, you're, it, it's not, you're not gonna shut off until the uh, the gas is out. So. Or, or as the engine seizes, <laughs> yep, maybe. Exactly. You, never, you never know. <laughs> What else, Ricardo? Anything oh. else we have? Yeah, uh, everything else is is already out. Um, really, these are the the two big new ones: is that sub pump and then the the rammer. All right. So, well, that's awesome, oh. Ricardo. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much yeah, for everything. Thank you, Vince. And I feel like when we hang out with Ricardo at Ohio Power Tool in the Milwaukee booth, the smash like button. It's free for you to do. It doesn't cost you a dime. Plus, you will get. You know, how many, you know how many years of good luck you get when you smash the like button on YouTube? At least 100. Wow, you're gonna own this for a limited time and a limited time only, you will get 100 years of good luck. All right, everybody, the video's gotta end. I know you're disappointed, but I promise you, you're gonna love the next video because it's gonna be more Milwaukee Tool. I wore my best red t-shirt for it. <laughs> Thanks, Ricardo. Yeah, thank you. See you.